But like, come on, you got a pit bull. You know it's vicious with other dogs. Put it on a bloody lead. Well, I've not had much luck with this seat of some ultralight mat. It's um, just burst again. We're just uh, hiking our way out of Wolverston and um, I must say it's not been the best of starts as we were coming along the uh, path that cut the see I'm getting tongue tied because uh, the adrenaline is still going as we were hiking along the path that follows the river um, sort of parallel to the Cumbria Way someone with a nice meaty pit bull thinks it's okay to let it walk off the leads even if it's hostile to other dogs we had a beeline for Cora growling intimidating her um, thankfully the owner grabbed it before anything else <coughs> sorry thankfully the owner grabbed it before anything else happened but uh, I think I'm more shaken by it than the dog but like come on you've got a pit bull you know it's vicious with other dogs put it on a bloody lead Let's go. Go. Anyway, back to the uh, the hike. So I set myself a challenge after the Pennine Way. Um, probably a bit daft, but nonetheless, to see how light I can go for an overnight wild camp but with all the equipment that I need including a proper tent and not a bivvy so that's what I've done today um, I've got a I think it's 25 litre running type pack on um, I've got my tent strapped on the webbing at the back and it weighs 11 pounds which is about five kilos so let's see yeah uh, how it holds up yeah I think that'll be luck little one but well, we can have a look go and have a look yeah come on, come on this way Come on you, back this way, up and over. Ugh. No, 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 no. Ugh. Right there. Come on. Uh. Let's go. Me, love. Yeah. Oh, is that better? You had the drink. Come on then. Cora, come. No. Hey. Cora. Come. You're getting a bit disobedient, you. Right, we are. Let's go. Ah, it's one of the. Uh, well-known landmarks along the Cumbria Way, this church that's uh, 
really beautiful. Some really old graves in there. Hope I've got my running shoes on. Yep. Oh, can't use that little one. Come on then. One of the uh, downsides of the Cumbria Way <clears throat> is the amount of cows that you have to walk past. Unfortunately, there's no way around just here, so uh, I'm gonna keep going. Go on. Didn't seem too bothered, thankfully. Found herself a stick. <laughs> so as you can see, I'm in there, being followed by here the cars. <coughs> So we're walking nice and slow, so we don't want to get them giddy. That's uh, really not, really not a comfortable experience at all. They're very interested in Cora. All we can do really is uh, keep walking, nice and steady. And hope they lose interest. I know they're just curious, but they're incredibly dangerous cows when they stampede, which is why you have to walk slowly because if you run, they will run and they will not stop. Well, there are quite a few fatalities every year of people, uh, including farm workers in fields of cows, which is why I'm uh, really uncomfortable right now. Come on now. It's very curious running. Don't like this. Minute or two away from the gate now, hopefully. Hey! Hey! Come on! Really close, basically touching Cora, sniffing them. We've just got to stay really calm now because we're nearly, nearly there. All right, Cora. All right. All right. Come on, girl. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Good girl. No. Good girl. Come on. Cora, good girl. Good girl. Cora now. 
as soon as uh, as soon as we pick up our pace, they do. It's really. I mean, I can see no reason why this can't be avoided by farmers for people coming along uh, what are national trails. I went through a field area that was fenced off from horses because they wanted to protect the horse as well. Why not protect uh, the people? Because it may look funny, but this is bloody dangerous. Imagine the damage this lock could do to you if they ran at you. Hello. I know you're only curious, but you're a bit frightening. Yeah. Really big wet nose. I absolutely realise they don't mean any harm. But uh, they're really big animals. Very excitable. And there was one or two getting quite excited with us there and coming around the side um, quickly. Um, and if a herd of those cows run at you, you're going to get trampled and you could potentially end up dead if not in a very bad way. But we're through that now, I'm very happy to say. And there we are. Beacon Town just come into view. So we're here at Beacon Town and uh, oh, the difference when a, a lightweight pack, five kilos on your back as opposed to what, uh, 16 plus is such a massive difference. Um, the walk was 10 miles, just about 10 miles it was from Overstone to here and it's so much easier without carrying a lot of weight. But I suppose the question is this, will the lighter weight kit mean I have a dreadful uncomfortable night I guess only time will tell really um, but what I have brought with me is the kind of main stay kit and I'll do a full uh, video about what I packed but generally what I've got is I've got a spirit burner I've got my ultralight sleep mat by sea to summit I've got my Alp kit one season down blanket um, I've got a blow-up pillow and it's all really comfortable I'm gonna make a camper meal in a second I've even got a very small bottle of uh, whiskey with me and a little, you know, a little plastic bottle with whiskey in it so I can have a wee dram tonight and um, I think I'll be all right I've also got a uh, what make is it God, blame it's a body warmer anyway um, oh black diamond and I've got me added bower lightweight fleece hoodie so I think I'll be all right even if it gets a bit chilly I can put them on uh, I brought some dog food and a little bowl for Cora didn't bring a wolf bag because it's really warm she doesn't really need it um, and she'll just sleep next to me probably edge onto my quilt but uh, I'm just going to show you the scenery now it's absolutely beautiful a few lads over there who are camping they've been doing some little runs around the town and uh, there we have it full circle so last time i came past here i was on cumbria way and um when i passed it i think i actually said on my video that i'd like to come back and have a wild camp well all the swimmers have gone so it's nice and peaceful so i'm looking forward to tonight and uh, having a little bite to eat and a nice camp
Yeah, I think it's less. So I just got that little tiny bit of water and I soaked it in some spirit and as you can see lit the wood which hopefully goes down and lights the spirit and it does feel like it's lit yeah definitely does because it's it's really difficult to see sometimes if the lit pot stand don't know if you can see there it's uh the flames are not obvious from the the burner but it is there Definitely is, you can feel heat. I didn't bring my lid, but uh, it should be okay. I'll pop that on there. I had nothing to get the um, the pan off with, so I ended up burning my bloody hand. There we are. Right. I'll just leave that for a minute because um, the handles are a bit hot. Although I guess I can use that. That dressing pack now. Um, yeah. So we've uh, gone back to the tent because where I was cooking my food, uh, I broke the tent up with his dog and he wants to uh, set up his camp, which is fair enough. So um, I've just brought my meal up here to eat in the tent, which is no hardship really. Unfortunately, look at that. Oh, our sunset is possibly ruined by the cloud if it doesn't break. Gutted. But uh, you never know. It might clear and we might get a sunset. If not, we might get a sunrise and I'm sure a caller will wake me up to see it. So uh, fingers crossed eh. But for now I'm going to have my sweet and sour chicken with rice and I'm sure Cora will help me eat it and she'll undoubtedly put her nose in the bag. Well I've not had much luck with this seat of some ultralight mat. It's um, just burst again. Absolutely my fault. I mean absolutely my fault. I left um, the cross section of my spirit burner inside the tent and the mat went on top of it. Um, best. So what I've done, I've patched it with some gaffer tape. Um, I don't know if it'll hold. I've put, if you can see here, I've put a foil blanket underneath the, the sleep mat. Um, hopefully it's a really mild night. If it is, I can just put my fleece on. Uh, can keep this um, rather nice um, body warmer that I've just bought from Black Diamond on. Hopefully that'll keep me warm enough so that I can sleep on top of the down blanket. Um, that's all if the gaffer tape doesn't hold up, so fingers crossed it does. Um, I'll be honest, I was um, that obsessed with going uber ultralight that I didn't bring me repair kit. Um, not really because I was ignoring it because I forgot because it would have weighed next to nothing. Um, let's see what happens eh? It's, it's, it's 8 o'clock and I'm 10 miles away so best will in the world. I can't pack up and go back because it'll be dark before I get there and I don't fancy hiking in the dark unless it's like life or death type, type of thing so um such is life, eh? Well, the gaffer tape has 
failed miserably so my inflatable mattress is not inflatable so I've got the survival blanket I've got my quilt underneath uh, I've got my bag under my hip to try and at least provide a little bit of comfort uh, I've got my black diamond body warmer on and my uh, Eddie Bauer fleece hoodie um, my legs well, if you can see they covered them oh if you can see they covered them with Gore-Tex jacket so hopefully we make it through the night and I've got a big fluffy dog laying next to me as well so she'll probably give me a little bit of warmth but uh, I'm gonna try and have some sleep now so I will see you tomorrow uh, hopefully I will have got a little bit of sleep no, thanks. So I've just been down and filtered some water and uh, ready to pack the tent away now and we'll be on our way back to Alverston. Not a bad pitch really is it? Right up there. I uh, didn't have uh, an absolutely horrendous night uh, given my uh, my best. Um, the gaffer tape didn't hold so I, I put a foil blanket underneath um, emptied my bag completely, put that under my hip and uh, we were alright and uh, my little elf kit down blanket was great, it was warm enough so uh, all things considered I actually slept reasonably okay and had a fairly comfortable night everything's packed away Midgies are out, so uh, we're going to crack on. <laughs> Just looking around at them while there's loads. Come on then, Cora, let's go. Go on. Cora? Cora? <gasps> What's this? <gasps> Although it's quite breezy and it's got a sort of hint of rain in the air, it's still really mild. I don't know if you can uh, make it out on the camera. I'll try and zoom in. But, uh, there's the Hode at Ulverston. So, uh, I'll throw my headers. If you're interested in the Hode, I uh, recently did a video where I took a walk around it and visited it. It's a really interesting uh, place. Stay there. Now that is one awkward bugger of a gate. Now then, we have got a field full of cows again. Do we go straight or round them? Let's, let's try going round, eh? Over there. Come on, come here. Good girl. Try and give them a, a 
nice bit of distance and hopefully they won't get too interested. I think there's a bull. I'm not even sure if they're temptation is to run of course and uh, get away but you're not going to beat them and once they get excited they'll start running with you right we're through no problems there's the bull there Have you come to watch me wobble my way up, have ya? Lovely, aren't you? Yes, yes. And there's a view of uh, Overston, nearly back now. an eventful trip that was from an awful start with the pit bull type dog attacking Cora we managed to uh, put that behind us and crack on and had a beautiful walk to uh, Beacon Town absolutely gorgeous place found a fantastic pitch and had a great wild camp only downside being of course that wasn't the end of the drama as my airbed punctured and went down tried a bit of gaffer tape, didn't work but uh, improvised and um, the improvision worked and we were, we were I was reasonably comfortable to be honest and I slept quite well but uh, I hope you've enjoyed the video and if you have I'd be really pleased if you click the like oh, as a fall over um, really kind of you if you would subscribe but uh, anything else I just hope you enjoyed it more than anything you know um, and I'll be out very soon oh um, just to let you know I'll be making a short video uh, looking at what I actually packed in a bit more detail to get the weight down to five kilos but until then I'll see you bye bye